Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I am just going to be giving a word of encouragement. Um, I think a lot of my videos as a reason have just been kind of like trying to encourage people. I think really and truly it's not necessarily because I feel like people around me or you know, I feel like this sense of like people are really down in the dumps and stuff. Um, unless obviously you are, then this definitely is a video for you. I think also it's just a case of like kind of like encouraging myself as well. Um, you know, as people, we just go through a whirlwind of like emotions and also at the same time when we're also dealing with certain things in our own personal life, the enemy can try to you know sneak himself in to also discourage us from doing certain things or achieving certain things and um sometimes we can feel like oh my gosh like things are being so delayed and I just don't know what to like do with myself and I think for me personally I've just kind of been in that season whereby like I've just been feeling like there's so many things I want to achieve and you know like I am young I am only 21 years of age however I feel like even though I'm young, there's no excuse or no reason for me to achieve certain things. Um, you know, the people my age who are near enough millionaire, millionaires and living their life. So I think sometimes in my head, I'm like, why can't I achieve that? Like, why can't I get there as well? Why can't I also do whatever needs me? whatever means necessary to get to that certain point as well? Obviously, in terms of like some of them, some of them probably were born into money. Some of them probably had that kind of means to get to where they are. Or some people just have that kind of favor and grace upon their lives. And obviously, like, I'm not necessarily comparing myself to them. But I think I just saw kind of the achievements and I said, me too, I can also achieve that. So for me personally, it's just been kind of like I'm in a space whereby like I want to achieve certain things and actively and progressively trying to achieve, achieve certain things. But I just felt like things keep getting in the way. And it was getting me down because it was just kind of like, Lord, like I'm actually trying to do certain things. And it wasn't just because like I was trying to do them because other people are doing them. But, you know, kind of like when you get the green light from um the spirit of the Lord, like the spirit of the Lord, like witnesses to your spirit. And it's just kind of like, OK, you have the green light to achieve certain things or do certain things. And you're trying to progressively do them or you're trying to progressively get to a certain point And like things keep getting in the way. Now, I would like to think of myself as somebody who ch who in tries to endure through certain things. I won't say that this is the worst season that I've been through in my life. No, I don't think it has been. But it definitely has been a season where I'm being tested and definitely a season where, like, I think <laughs> my endurance is being tested as well. I would like to think that I'm somebody who can get through certain things. Um and um as my mother would say like I'm somebody who's a fighter especially through the tough seasons so sometimes I try and put myself in that mentality and remember that kind of um remember what my mother said that I am amongst other things but it's just kind of like sometimes you just get to a point where you're just like what if I can't do this what if I'm putting myself in a position where like maybe I'm just driving towards something that's just not, I can't achieve it. It's not, I'm not able to get there. I'm not able to do it. I'm not able to, you know, the target that I'm trying to get to, the finishing line that I'm trying to get to. What if I can't get to it? What if, you know, I'm really running a marathon that is really not mine to be running? And, you know, um, of course, like for me to, like look at something and think I'm going I want to achieve this it's not just like again it's not just something that I just decided that I'm just going to get up and do I mean I, I I feel like okay I have the green light to do it I feel like you know I have the means to do it I have the mentality to do it you know things are going so smoothly and then I hit a, a, a trip over a rock in the road of this marathon 
and I look up to see other people running past me or I look up and you know I have a bit of a in I have a, a scratch on my leg or like a bit of an injury and I'm just thinking to myself should I just keep going and keep going until I get to where I need to be or should I just like get up turn around and go home and just forget about everything that I'm doing and I think a lot of people you know especially in this time who had definitely had a lot of plans on what they want to do probably are feeling the exact same thing and it's not it's not a bad thing to feel like that. It's not a bad thing to feel like, okay, Lord, where else do I go to? Or what do I do? Or what is it that you desire for me to do? You know, but it's not a bad thing. And it's not something that is out of the norm. There's nothing new under the sun. But what are you doing in this season? or And at that time where you feel like, okay, now that I've hit a stumbling block, do I keep going or do I turn, a, turn around? Or do I turn around, sorry, and go back to go back to how I was or back to the start because sometimes when you hit a setback you feel like okay here we go here's um we're back to square one but it's not back to square one because if you're back to square one you wouldn't have learned what you've learned you wouldn't have acquired the knowledge that you have acquired now to get to the point where you are and also the people that you have now surrounded yourself with along the journey and along the way so sometimes we get into our own feelings and just feel like no I can't do this or no I don't want to do this and I've just been getting I've personally gotten sometimes I've personally said to God like God like you know the certain things that even you yourself you said yes Charlene go and do and I've given you the green light to do it I've given you the means you have the knowledge you have the people around you have the resources but like I've just kind of said like but why is these things why are these things not working and you know sometimes delay is not denial just because you haven't got to a certain point that you desire for yourself or desire for your life or desire for your career or desire for like certain achievements, certain milestones doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get there or it's not achievable. I think one thing for me that I definitely did that is a mistake is I put a time cap on everything. I've said like, at this age, I want to achieve this. At this age, I want to achieve this. At this age, I want to achieve this. There's nothing wrong with having a goal of where you want your life to go to or how you want a certain thing to be achieved. But also be open, open mind, open minded to setbacks, to hurdles that will, you may have to jump over along the way and also a twist a plot twist in the story because it's not everything that you desire to achieve for your life for your career and so forth that God has definitely said yes this is going to happen this way God can say you have the resources and the, the the green light to do something but sometimes certain things he allows certain things to happen so that you grow from it so that you learn more than you would have if it had just come easily and smooth sailing you know sometimes as people we feel like oh like why is this happening to me why do I have to go through this why do I have to go through that but once you go through a certain thing and you get through a certain season and at the end of it at the end of the tunnel you always see like okay this is why I had to go through this this is exactly why this is a road I had to take along the along the way and you know it's so normal to feel like you want to give up. It's so normal to be like, yeah, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this anymore. It is the most normal thing ever. But one thing I will say is that don't let it get in so much over your head, like so much more, so much into your head that you actually forget the importance of you going through that season or for you to kind of like have that setback because, you know, people have to wait for things a lot. You know, I think for me personally, I pers I personally feel like, you know, some people may disagree with me, but you know, it's as well. I've always felt like throughout my whole entire life, since I was a little girl, I think that's why I get so like aggravated when certain things don't go my way, because I think it's just always been the case for me, is that like ever since I was a little girl and ever since like growing up or whatever I was always the child whereby like if I wanted certain things to happen I would wait I would have to wait whether I wanted to or not whether other people would get things faster or whatever and I'm not necessarily saying like things like toys or things like 
you know, I would like to say like even things because I remember being a child and being very much like in some prayer and stuff like that. So I knew to pray for a certain things. So like, I think because I, I had always been that person to like have to wait, like, you know, there's people who like are just greatly favored. Like when they ask, when they put their mind to certain things, it just works out for them. Like, just like that. Like, I always felt like I had to work a little bit extra harder just for certain things to manifest for me. And I think, obviously, it doesn't help when you're looking at other people and you're saying, like, okay, they seem to be doing fine. Like, let's say, for example, this YouTube thing. I've been on YouTube for a year now. I've, and, you know, I'm at, I thank God for the subscribers that I have and the viewers that I have because, you know, that's a milestone in itself. But I think at, su at some point I was looking at other people who jumped on, like, YouTube for a month and they were already hitting the thousands. And I think I was getting upset because it was just kind of like, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Am I not interesting enough? Like, is this channel not interesting? And one thing for me that I kept telling myself was I don't want to compromise. Like, I don't want to start making the same kind of content so that people start watching my story, start watching my videos or step out of the reason why I actually started doing this video in the first place and I think that was something that I definitely um really really like like fought with and that was a time where I wasn't really being as consistent on the channel I was just putting out like one video a week if I wanted to of like reflection with child because that's one thing that I was definitely set out to keep doing but um that got into my head kind of like, how come other people just do something and it works for them? But with me, I have to work harder and I have to work extra hard to ensure that I am keeping my head above water because it seems like people are able to breaststroke their way out of the situation. And I'm just literally just surviving. I'm literally just floating on the water. So like it, it, has been getting a lot like okay where what do I do where do I go what is it that the what is it that like what what is it that is so important about my life that I have to keep going and be resilient and keep fighting at some point I was so so close to turning around and saying I get I don't want to do it anymore and I think I've been having a lot of those moments where I'm just like I don't want to do it anymore I just I can't be bothered peace out you guys you guys have fun with whatever you're doing I'm peacing out of this I just don't want to do it anymore and like and again I think it's that fighter in me that my mum said that I like said to me that actually to be honest I think the way she said it to me was just kind of like we were having a conversation about you know certain things and my birth and whatever and she just kind of said to me like Charlene you've been a fighter since birth like since birth basically she's coming out of the womb you've been a fighter and she was just kind of like so I don't understand when when you go through certain things like you get so frustrated because you've always been a fighter like and obviously upon speaking to other people that's just kind of what they say to me and I think because I don't see it in myself sometimes I just feel like when you actually look at my heart, that's not how I feel. But the fight within me would just be like, I'm just going to keep going because, you know, I've started already. But the initial thought for me is just kind of like, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, let me just keep, let me just give up. Like, what am I doing this for kind of thing? But like within me, it's just kind of like, you have to keep going. Like, come on, Charlene, like you, you, you've started. Like, why would you just go back and turn back just like that? So sometimes it is just kind of like a conflict of interest and it's so annoying. So like, there's been times where I've literally said, like, I just want to give up. And, you know, some of us feel like sometimes we want to give up and we want to just break down and cry and have a meltdown, have a hissy fit. So, you know, sometimes we get injured along the way and we want to just sit there and just sulk. But sometimes eventually you're going to have to remember that if you turn back, they may not be there may not be a pivotal moment that can happen for you again. If you keep going forward, you can only keep going forward. And there's no guarantee that there won't be any setback. There's no guarantee that, you know, that things will go back to how they were. Sometimes in enduring and persevering, you might just meet that miracle moment along the way and you never know. Maybe God just wanted you to actually endure to be 
to see if you would be able to take on bigger and better tasks. Because in sometimes when you get to the top, that's when more problems arise. And if you're not able to enjoy the small things that go on in your life right now, then how are you going to handle the big things when you get up there at the top? Like for example, um, like I said with this channel, there's certain things I haven't yet, you know, achieved necessarily like like for example in terms of character being able to rise above situations or being being able to rise above people that like to talk negative about you and whatnot whatnot then how am I going to be on a big platform when people will constantly be saying horrible things around you even like for example, like if you're not able to just handle the small things that are happening in your life, just kind of like disappointments and stuff, how are you going to be able to deal with betrayal because of money or betrayal because you're at a certain position in your life or things that people will do because you are doing well for yourself? And sometimes you have to just consider these certain things and you have to consider like, you know, the fact that the delay or is not denial it just means just wait there for a moment there's a reason why you're waiting there there's a reason why you're in the season to wait so then you come out to greater and better than you were before like my spiritual parents basically were just kind of telling me about a particular um instance it was just kind of like would you rather do something when it was available to you and not do well or would you rather or would you wait and actually do well and prepare properly for that thing and you know I didn't think of it like that to be honest because it was just kind of like I just wanted to do it now and I'm a very much a now 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 kind of person but I have to learn to just kind of like brainstorm prepare see what can be done in enough time you know don't rush myself because I see other people achieving things at a certain time. My milestone is not your milestone. My achievements are not your achievements. My destiny is not your destiny. And your purpose is not your purpose. And I think in a time where I'm always like, oh God, I have to keep fighting and I have to keep doing more than others. A scripture that definitely comes to mind where I'm put in certain situations like that. And this is a, a scripture that is literally embedded in my heart. It's 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10. And in summary about that scripture, Apostle Paul, was basically saying that it is by the grace of God that he is who he is it's by the grace of God that he is in the position that he is in and it's by the grace of God that he's a he he does he, like he literally says he does more than others but it's by the grace of God that he does more than others and it's by the grace of God that he is where he is and I think sometimes like I underestimate just the grace that is actually upon my life because I mean I'm not necessarily where I want to be, but other people also desire to be in the position that I am in as well. I think a lot of people actually look at me and think that I'm definitely doing way better off than I actually am. And, you know, I don't mind having that kind of, you know, ideology put out there. But just to kind of be real and transparent that I do go through my own struggles. There are things that I am worried about. There's things that sometimes I do cry about and I do get frustrated about. Do you know what I mean? So um it's not it's not a bad thing to feel this way but what are you doing to rise above the challenge what are you doing to stay encouraged I would say that the things that definitely will help you in this season is prayer perseverance and you know positivity the three p's prayer perseverance and positivity prayer because you should lay everything up by the Father's throne, you should lay everything into the Father's hands and let your requests be known. Um, I was told just recently, just that if you want change, you should demand change. Like if you want change, what are you doing to demand it? What are you doing to acquire it? Um, perseverance, because you need to put yourself in a mindset where you're gonna say, regardless of whatever that I'm going through, I'm gonna keep going. And regardless of whatever it is, endurance definitely needs to be my armor and perseverance definitely needs to be my mentality. Positivity, because even in the negativity, positivity is your friend. It says in the Bible that for um, what a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. When you're always filling yourself and your heart up with negativity, positivity will not find a space in your heart. I'm telling you, if you're always, con I used to be one of those people where I saw negativity in basically like everything. Everything was literally negativity, negativity to me. Everything was just kind of like, I can't do that. 
no, I'm not like this. No, 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 no. Like sometimes try and find the positivity in the negativity because when you like when you when you desire to drive out the negativity from your heart with positivity, then positivity can find its place to establish and uproot itself in your heart. And you don't want to be stapled and seen as somebody who's always constantly negative because being a negative person is draining, like it's absolutely draining. And when you're when you have the negativity within your heart, when you have the negative, sorry, when you have the positivity in your heart and you're always trying to be positive, you actually have a better outlook of things and situations and your life. So definitely prayer perseverance and positivity are the things that you should engage in this season it's not easy absolutely not but nobody said it would be but it's not hard it's not impossible you know for the nothing is impossible for god so if you're a child of god and you're somebody who prays and believes in god that things can happen then why do you have that mindset that the possibility that there's an impossibility in your situation lift all things up unto the father jesus christ is still on the throne the father is still on the throne so as long as he's on the throne then things are definitely possible to be changed to shift so i hope you guys were encouraged by this reflection with char and god bless you whatever time you watch this video morning noon night and i'll see you in my next one bye